last class we have discussed about what is operating system how to create files and folders and how to save them so this class we will discuss about the question answer and some inside questions so this is books inside question write t for true and f for false the operating system is the first program to be installed into a new computer true the start menu displays a list of icons false The long bar present at the bottom of the desktop is called the task bar true. The notification area is located on the left side of the task bar false. Now let's start your exercise. A tick the correct answer. One number question. Which of the following is used to go to your computer's program folders and settings? Start menu. Two number. Which of the following are small pictures present on the desktop icons? Which of the following acts as a dustbin of a computer? Recycle bin. Which of the following is a container for storing files folders? What will you do to open a file? Double click on it. B. Fill in the blanks. The start menu is also used to shut down the computer. The long bar present at the bottom of the desktop is called task bar. The notification area is located on the right side of the task bar. A folder helps to store files and other folders. So in C number question, number the steps correctly to create a new file. So for creating a new file the first step will be open ms word it start with a blank page this will be number 1 step then two step start typing text on the blank page third step after completing your work click on file and then on save fourth step the save as dialog box appears fifth step Choose the location in the left pane of the dialog box where you want to save your file. Sixth step: Type the file name in the file name box. Seventh step: Click on Save. Your file is now saved. So now come to question answer of lesson two. So the first question of short answer question is: What is an operating system? What is an operating system? The answer is the operating system is the first program to be installed into a new computer. Two number name any two versions of Windows operating system. Answer Windows 8 and Windows Vista. Three name the parts of the desktop: task bar, start button, desktop icons, and desktop background. Fourth. What does the computer icon on the desktop represent? The computer icon represents all the hard disk drive, saved files and folders. 5. What is the search box in the start menu used for? The search box is used to search programs and files on your computer. Now long answer question. What are icons? Name some common desktop icons. Small pictures on the desktop are called icons. The computer and recycle bin are some common desktop icons. Second question: Difference between a file and folder. File: A file is a place where data is stored. file consists of specific size folder files and folders are stored in a folder folder does not consume any space in memory three number write the steps to create a file the steps are as follows open a program such as ms word it start with a blank page type text as per required 
After completing the process of this, we will follow the steps for saving files. Four number question. Write the steps to copy a file. The steps are as follows. Right click on the selected files or folders. Click on the copy option from the menu. Go to the location where you want to copy files and folders. Right click and click on the paste option from the menu. The file or folder will be copied to the desired location. Fifth number question. Write the steps to create a shortcut to a file and folder. To create a shortcut, follow these steps. Locate the file or folder and right click on it. Point at send to and click on desktop. A shortcut to the file or folder will appear on the desktop. So we have finished the question answer of lesson 2. Soon lesson 1's question answer will be also published.